one of the few heroes that can CS relatively well against the Primal Beast, but it's not easy. Primal Beast just has so much damage. Yeah, and he's a huge hero oh, who just like stands Lama. over the creeps. He's just dead. First blood. Underestimating the constant slows from the Sticky Bomb and caused a massive problem for him. And Monet just doing a great job at keeping the damage in with the side blades. We see why they pick this as the counter. Now KJ in trouble, going for the Rocket Barrage. Blast off through as well. They're gonna clean up a second kill in this top lane big on Primal Beast, you'll see a lot of players just like stand over the creeps, and if you don't use Smart Attack, or one of the new Dota Labs things, it can be pretty difficult to actually target the creeps you're trying to last hit. And even just like a fraction of a moment trying to like fix it can lead to a deny at this level. So, I'm actually not sure, I didn't, I don't even really know what Smart Attack is, because I'm, you know, Boomer gamer, I don't pay attention to these old, these new features. Boba Cup bottom lane will get brought down from Schofield. Very nice bait from him, but uh, yeah, actually, I was Quinn was talking about this. A little bit punished. Lost under the tower, yeah. Sorry, what was a? Uh... No, he, he just had, he has Quinn that feature saying. enabled. Oh, Boba Cup, the op main gets a kill from downtown. You deserve nothing. Yeah, it's a good really feature nice for uh, for last hitting in particular. Uh, K1 is taking Ooh. so much damage that he gets the he call. He's going to get a calling blade. Or the counter helix, rather. Wow, that's huge. He even switched tower aggro in time, too. So he's just going to TP home and heal up. And they missed a lot of creeps on the faceless void. Yeah, and NTS rotates top to finish off uh, Divide KJ and X Nova taking them away from the enemy team. That being said, Axe is gonna use his time to rotate on over. He's gotta throw the missile, gonna do what damage he can here with the two points in the rocket barrage, but KJ turns his way back towards those ancient creeps, like, come on, let me get the deny. Not gonna happen. TA is the kind of hero where one or two misplays can be very punishing because she does not have a lot of health. So even though she's farmed and she has a ton of like kill potential, she can be killed, especially with like Chronosphere stuff like that. Oh, that is uh, but if you play carefully, for Lama gets baited there as a big rotation top comes through. Yeah, and when you have your team come and help you, then you're safe to just do damage. Oh yeah, Invis rune on nothing to say. Might pick up a free Rubik kill. Scofield just got level six, so he'll be able to steal pulverize, but. Yeah, not when you get the techies follow up. And that's what we were talking about, right? Like, X Nova is going to be able to contribute so much damage into this mid game. Like, once the blink daggers come out from Axe as well. Ports. This is a great play. Paboka's one gold away from his Atos. It's on the way. The scan comes out. They know that this is happening. NTS will scout him. Missile comes out. KJ, no call down. So he's lacking a lot of damage. Great. Dead shot there from Schofield to try and buy some space, but the chase continues, and now he's the one in the in the rough spot. Call comes through, ran down by the Primal Beast. They get the tower, unable to take the Wisdom Rune. Top, but I can't imagine it's going to be for long. Yeah, they smoke back across the map. Analog's in a decent spot to pop this. He sees him. Avalanche out, toss, and he's going to immediately blink to safety. Needs to be careful, though. Yeah, nearby. Atos is out, has an illusion rune, illusion gonna start scouting rune, with these. Wow. Yeah. I think that actually just saved his life. Absolutely. I mean, he knew about this. Call down's here now, actually. Primal Beast, he's tanky, but there's a lot of magic damage here. Chrono, it barely catches, and that call down's gonna hit on the money. Okay, they finally get a big kill, and it's gonna be the Primal Beast. Schofield stole Onslaught, which is kind of funny. You want to see that happen. Call JT, or K, yeah, KJ finds, JT finds, K, okay, I'm just, that's a going to be an awful thing to say this game. Axe finds Gyrocopter. No, Culling Blade kills. Mm -hmm. Give themselves a nice D-War on this top river. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately for them, though, the 16-minute room oh will be top. God. And Tiny gets it. Bottom lane. In comes the axe. Gotta be careful though. Divine Llama does a lot of damage. The pullback. JT's in trouble. Avalanche toss. He gets him. Now looking for Monet. Instead, he just throws the Melt Strike onto the Rubik. He steals the Melt himself. And it. now Monet is dead. Uh-oh. 
turn that bad boy on and start farming on the Rubik XD. <laughs> How do you shoot twice with one staff? He's a magician, man. You can't question it. He's a wizard, Harry. X Nova gets scouted actually on the backside, but a pulverize comes out from NTS. The follow up is there. The Chrono's not what you want. He will be able to find the Muerta before the Pierce the Veil, but he doesn't get the bash in time. And now K1's in a rough spot. KJ on the backside runs into NTS. The Blade Mail returning a lot of damage. Analog here as well. They want the Primal Beast. There's the Avalanche. The toss to chain them in. Great time dilation as well. But JT gets a fantastic call. They've got the tiny K1. Time walks the last second. He's out. A fantastic play from IG. Monet's not done. He gets an extra. Still looking for K1. Still thinking about it. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Just like 100 to zero that gyrocopter. Oh, Schofield and Bobica having some fun over here in the trees. Well, maybe one more fun than the other. Will steal the. Sp this he steals the gunslinger again all right that's actually quite funny great call out from jt no calling blade available bobica steals the at the end he's like yeah, this one's still any of them where it's a spells but the fact that you can just toggle similar to bulwark is pretty cracked oh divai yeah, lama in it's... trouble in the top lane pulverize coming out any moment Try oh he, he doesn't actually have it it's on cooldown however the Lama, uh, yeah, he's got a sticky bomb on top. Ends up going into a proxy mine anyway. One. Yeah, haste rune on Primal Beast too. One of the best he could get. Might just use oh. it to kill KJ on his own here. He's looking at the map, trying to see where the enemies are. Oh, into the Pulverize Onslaught with a Shift Q. Classic combo, really well played. Okay, uh, one. He's a pulverize as well piercing bkb so yeah. status resistance will be nice he is still going to get a bkb and i think he has to to deal with the silences and to make sure he can get killed with chrono really nice find bottom that's uh, another set of deso stacks k1 goes for the chrono but guess what pierce the veil Lasts even longer. Bobica avalanche toss though. He's still gonna die. So a lot of good rotation on through. But that is a big cooldown, right? Chronosphere down for over two minutes. Roche, about a quarter HP left as JT now comes through. The wraparound. Are they gonna find it? I mean, this would be an amazing avatoss in from the tiny. There it is. The avalanche, the toss, the Aegis. It snaps. He does it. get it. Monet is low. Analog trying to bring down this Templar assassin Schofield. Comes right through, they get the kill. So Tiny's gonna respawn. JT is blinked, canceled by the trap from Rubik. BKB is gonna be forced from him. Where is your faceless void? He's not even here. He's in the top side of the map. The rest of the team's just trying to do it without him. Looking for more. The toss out from Analog. Trying to just bring him down. A Yule's out from Divai Lama to cancel the disengage. They, they took this fight without the faceless void. Difficult. Nice. Super deep smoke coming in from G2IG, knowing exactly where someone's gonna be farming and analog. Uh-oh, buddy. JT, smoke breaks, goes for the call, catches him right at the edge, and in comes NTS, the follow-up from the techies. More than enough damage. Calling blade number three for the axe. As the lines are drawn, push mid, push top from outside of the, the night vision range, I think. Radiant are scanning. KJ. And some trouble here, Gleipner out from Bobica, the follow-up from X Nova, just so easy for these two supports. JT was waiting to not, like, waste his blood. He's gonna walk over two traps and just get immediately called from the Axe. He does have an Avalanche that he can throw instead, he's gonna go for the BKB, but guess what, NTS is here. Pulverize, not gonna allow you to TP out, and it should be another death for this Tiny. As the call comes through, pulling Blade. Now available, JT's got another. Four stash of eight armor. Rylana does find X Nova, but he's quite tanky, has that Guardian Greaves, just jumps away. The Roshan is definitely the target here once Radiant again for both teams. Scanning. JT coming through the Twin Gate. But look at the techies mines, baby. They are everywhere. Someone's gonna walk up here and have a bad time. It's gonna be analog. Oh, they find JT on the backside. They go in. K1 thought going for the chrono. Decides against it. But, dude, KJ just gets one shot by the Primal Beast. They force the BKB out on the Tiny. There's going to be the Pulverize. 
G2IG are just waiting. They got nothing to spend at the moment. Two heroes dead, both supports. The problem is there's a lot of BKBs already. So definitely once, I'd say pulverized. Traps could be good to maybe get some map control back. Techie's mind for a similar reason. They're gonna try and lay into the Primal Beast here. The break is how it just responds to the Pulverize, but Analog just deletes the Techies onto the backside. K1 able to time walk off some of the damage. He's gonna have to BKB soon. He does, JT gets the call. He's got a Chrono available. He's looking for Monet, but he does have him Aegis, so he doesn't want to throw it quite yet. Bobaka on the backside does finally fall. Two kills for Heroic. As a decent fight actually comes out from this fight from G2IG, where if they don't have buybacks on Heroic, they could just clear the base so easily. But, I mean, Heroic want to stall this one out for quite a while. Where did he die? He just walked into He went through the dice. twin gate. No, he went through the twin gate, just got deleted behind. It's 40 minutes, so it's not like, you know, it's not the worst, but it's pretty rough. Can they They're get this like staying on JT. He gets the BKB. The Chrono comes out again. I don't think you have even remotely enough damage to find this, but a stolen Pulverize from Schofield. They will do it. Okay, so a costly... Get something out of it. Because the high ground is one of the hardest parts for G2IG here into the Chronosphere. So in a way, you kind of trade one kill for nearly taking off that tower. It's not too bad. NTS. This is just not the hero they want. He's got 5,500 health. They're literally looking for anything else at this point. But he does have a BKB. You can't really... Well, there's the call, actually, from Schofield. Holding Monet in place. The Techies tries to survive. It looks like he will. Pulverize will hold Schofield in place. And Monet is just going to delete him. And now you got to be careful. Bobica is here. Does have the Pierce to Going to turn it on. Space point silenced up for the moment. He's got a time walk. Gets to safety. Timber saw. Timber chains out. He's got... They actually get out on everyone. A one-for-one -one trade, despite being all 10 heroes on the top side of the map. I think all his Pierce the Veils earlier were all used defensively to live during, like, Chrono and stuff. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, we missed the call, but you guys saw how wide that is. <laughs> well, analog, avalanche toss. He's going to be able to BKB to dodge out for the moment. Oh my gosh, KJ gets melted by Nome. They also managed to grab Schofield. Timber saw with a Wind Waker. He's got to run, but JT's there with a call, and good night, Timber. No shot. Three dead just so quickly on the side of Heroic. And they're not done. They're looking for K1 on the other side of the map. NTS. Really chase. He's not going to. Yeah, when Refraction's up, he has like oh, 500 from JT. plus. BKB is out. Avalanche is there. This face is void. The Pulverize is last forever. He dies. The Calling Blade just in time. And that might spell the game here for Heroic, as that is going to be a dieback on your Timber Saw. That pulverized duration talent. Yeah, stat resistance is nice, but it can't get you out of this one. And there it is. The GG comes through. And just like that, G2IG will take game number one. JT is I, I feel like the Life Stealer, as he gets. Yeah, as Life Stealer gets more levels, it becomes a little easier, but. Great stomp out, connects onto the techies, does hit the sticky bomb, and actually sticks to the wrong hero there, I think they wanted, and Bobica will claim first blood with plenty of Shadow Demon poison stacks, so. Get in time! Oh, he has to go all the way back to Fountain now. The headshot actually just slowed him up enough. Top lane, Schofield isolated out here by X Nova, and he's just gonna get ran down eventually. Blood Grenade out. With those uh, swarms ticking him down. He's trying to get to the bounty rune in time. He's like, oh yeah, victory. Worth it. <laughs> Maybe he should have died to the clock, actually. The bug killed him. Deal with the vision that's there. But the problem is, is you can't get this D ward. You actually can't. If you try to go for this, he will just kill whatever hero shows up. Six minute power rune. They brought X Nova top. He goes for the silence, goes for the orb away. But the rune's bottom gets pushed back for a moment. Nice rotation from Delai, Llama, and Schofield. Even the techies coming through. But will they even bring down the sniper? They're trying, baby. And they finally do it. 
They're turning it back around. Davai Lama as well as KJ. Gotta get rid of these bugs. They do get the gyro. Monet chasing them down. Onslaught in one second. But the Sakuchi closes the gap in analog. analog. He's gotta go back to base. Offlane's also free farming and he's a faster farmer. So you're kind of okay with this situation. You're winning mid. Your offlane's out forming. Maybe they're offlane. I don't know. Primal's actually also kind of fast at this. But Primal coming out on the backside. They get the missile out onto NTS, but there's the stampede puck. Can't even throw a coil. They get the disruption that they want. They're bringing in another TP. It's close, though. He's about 100 gold away. Yeah, I think it's one of the fastest radiances we've seen. Clockwork ult onto KJ. No getting yeah, out of this did. one. He did. Really nice find there. Eventually, Disperser is like the, the probably one of the best mobility items he could have. Sniper's ready to Real? fight. Yeah, he might regret that one as X Nova actually getting a decent amount of damage out. They do manage to trade for one. The blast off with an invest actually kind of sick into the pulverize, but it gets canceled from JT. A fantastic stampede on through. Oh my Analog's God, trying to Analog. get revenge on NTS, but <laughs> guess what, baby? Headshot after headshot, five heroes dead. <laughs> Stand a little further back, I guess. I mean, it's pretty good. Uh, Hurricane Pike, I wouldn't be surprised to see like a shard after that. And then, uh, yeah, I don't know. Are you killing this guy? All right, they found the clockwork here. That's gonna be a little bit of gold going for Divai Lama. Like, not only is Puck not gaining on the Shadow Demon, but Bobaka's actually pulling away. Is what I'm realizing. Great stomp from JT. Catches Schofield to my lava as well. Just trapped in the cage. Nowhere to go. It's such an early mech from Baboka as well, keeping X Nova alive. Otherwise, maybe they at least get a. Well, actually, if we keep walking in the mines, maybe. Oh my god, Monet is just solo killing Puck with that amplified damage rune, too. Ooh, KJ, he wanted to cut the wave, but they knew. They forded this because they had that ward vision. Disruption out, the follow-up into the stomp techies. He's gone. Dude, there that was such a sick little fort play with that ward. Yeah, they don't want him to have anything, man. They're, they won't give him a creep wave, and it would have delayed this tier two. I mean, look at this. They're pretty much killing the tier two off this creep wave that they saved that would have died shows why they did that oh he smoked too this is so mean of them did you want this what's up yeah he's gonna once again get trapped in the cage nothing to say he'll grab the wisdom rune himself on the other side monet he's the one who does get found and the mana burn Does he have the mana break talent he does yeah i was like he's taking a lot of damage the missile? Oh, he clears it up. The stun doesn't connect. That was sick from Monet. Okay. Oh, Stampede out. The not to disengage, but to chase. They found KJ in the top side. If Puck. You have this Aegis for another two and a half minutes. Analog's gonna do his best to try and just cut what waves he can here on the Puck. Hookshot off the mark. Gleipnir is out, and Puck no longer having that Blink Dagger option. Has to take the jump, but the follow-up from JT is there. With enough heroes, you'll easily find these kills. And once again, I want to highlight their vision. Last game, they had the TA. This time, they're just depending on like really good wards. They have so much deep vision to, once again, just keep running at all these different heroes. Well find a techies as well. Monet will pop the time lapse. He's got an arcane rune, right? So constantly able to Sakuchi. Meanwhile, bottom NTS just not even not even caring. Just see having a chill time D down there. Divai Lama has BKB. He'd love to go in and go for an onslaught, but X Nova is just wait could wait for the hook shot at any time. And there it is instead. We'll use an aggressive JT with a follow-up stun and now Divai Lama is dead again. They have just crushed this mid and off lane. All the steps they have to take. Like one, we win the lane with Sniper. Two, we protect the Sniper lane. Three, you know, we, we start moving around, playing with Sniper, stuff like that, right? They're like following through on every step they need to.
to make sure Analog has no game this time. Yeah, this is painful for him. KJ can't get out of here, stuck in the cogs again. That'd be interesting. It doesn't. Matter. I'd have to. I'd have to think even harder on that. Like. Oh, Weaver kill? Nice save no, from nice Bobica. The blast off, though, from KJ has oh, got him. Okay. This is a good kill, and they definitely needed it. They're going to look for Bobica. He's under a ward. Analog should be able to chase him, block him off. The onslaught coming through. JT's thinking about entering the fray, but he will not. He's not going to... Yeah, I mean, that's like... 2,500 gold off those two kills. So very much needed, and it, uh, unfortunately, Analog did not pick up either of those, but he definitely could use some help. I'd also like to point out that Bobica was worth way more than Monet somehow. Uh, Bobica's on a kill He was out of the game before, uh, though. Uh, there's been so many games. Dude, Divi Llama and a single stomp nearly going down. JT takes a lot of magic damage. KJ's, he was thinking about it going in there. Yeah, he's going to realize there's a ward up here. A lot of damage out from the bug. Die to the bug. And he doesn't get rid of it in time. Schofield trying to clean up the... Don't! <laughs> Centaur gets popped. The infest from the lifestealer. He needs a target. He doesn't cast it in time. Oh, that is a disaster. KJ's back with a buyback. Great damage off of the Primal Beast. They actually just blow up too. NTS is stuck on the high ground here. Can he hold the ground for long? There's the missile coming. The disarm is there. Uh-oh. A uh, triple kill for KJ. Now looking for Bobica. They've got a sentry scouting out this disengage. And... All right, uh, Techies is a serious threat, clearly. Now Analog with the chase. Bobica's gone. Five heroes dead, it only costs you one buyback? These guys do a lot of damage. And in, it does require like perfect team fighting from Heroic to make this happen. Bobica is gonna get found here. A missile does come through, he's trying to TP, but X Nova is at the ready. Be a dead gyro. Nice find. Is he? It's a while till his next item, but they do a lot of damage. Sealer. Oh, Divine Llama actually goes in, gets stunned up. He needs to be helped. Infest is there. He doesn't get a chance to BKB. Not even close. And K1, he spent everything as well. He's got to get out. Oh no, the team just on a completely different page. One hero baiting, the other thing into the engage, and just like that, you've lost your Primal Beast. He does have a buyback and a BKB, but your tier three, hanging on by a thread there, it's gonna go down. Trying to force something out of the side of G2IG. Jump in from JT, takes a decent chunk of damage from those mines. As NTS gets caught from the Abyssal, he pops the BKB, so that is something going their way, but guess what? Disarm, not gonna help you. Lane of Barracks now about to fall. Nicely done. They're not risking it. This positioning is much better. They actually get on top of the Sniper, but K1, he actually doesn't stay there. They get the Aegis, but can you get more? The second life, he's on top of them, and they're just crumbling on Heroic. K1's gone. Buyback from your Primal Beast, but without a Life Stealer. That might be it. It was a glimmer of hope here for Heroic, but G2IG are going to put that one to an end, looking to bring down nothing to say Sniper, but Demonic Cleanse is on top of him. The BKB is not going to last, and the GG comes out. Beautiful series out from G2IG. Yeah, it's looking.